Hello YouTube, this is Chrono16 here. Today is date November 2nd, 2011. In this uh, video, I'm going to be showing you what parts of the United States you can actually see or try to see 2005 YU55 when it makes its closest approach to Earth on November 8th of this year, 2011. And as you can see here on screen, we have the time at 1727, which is a minute or so before the actual closest passing of YU55 to Earth. Uh, this is central time. I'm in the central time zone, as you can see here on the map, in the middle part of the United States in Arkansas. And if you're in this part of the country of the United States, you will be able to see possibly YU55 in the southwest. As you can see, the sun is setting over here. Venus is right here. And up here, farther in the sky, is exactly where YU-55 will be at in the sky from Arkansas in the central time zone. And this is exactly how the sky will look at that time here in the central time zone. Uh, if you go to the mountain time zone, the sun will be higher up in the sky. So anybody living in the mountain time zone in, in the United States will not be able to see 2005 YU-55 especially if you're over on the west coast you will not be able to see 2005 YU55 because the sun will be even higher in the sky but if you're in the eastern time zone anywhere on the eastern seaboard of the United States you will be able to see 2000 YU55 and according to NASA uh, when they were interviewing a couple of scientists yesterday on November 1st uh, they said that you would need at least a six inch telescope to see 2005 YU55 and possibly you should be able to see it with some very good binoculars as well. Again, in the eastern seaboard, you should be able to see it because it'll be much darker on the eastern seaboard and it'll be around 628. That's 628 eastern time on the eastern seaboard. You should be able to see YU55 traversing across the sky there in the southwest uh, obviously if you're in other parts of the world you everybody's not going to be in the United States if you're over in Europe guys forget about it uh, YU55 has already set in the southwest you won't you will not be able to see YU55 the only viewable locations to see YU55 is in North America on the eastern seaboard of North America up in the central parts of Canada if you're too far north up in Canada, you may be able to see it. It'll be very low on the, right, on the horizon, but uh, you will not be able to see it anywhere else but on the eastern seaboard of the United States and in the central time zone of the United States and its central parts of Canada on the eastern parts of the North American continent. You'll be able to see 2005 YU55 as it goes across the sky on that date and reaches its close to point. Uh, approach to the United States of America now uh, in the earth that is actually like I said you will need a six inch telescope according to NASA and a pretty good pair of binoculars as well to see this thing and it's going to be moving pretty fast according to NASA across the sky remember you have to look in the southwest part of the sky between Capricornus and Sagittarius if you have a program like Stellarium which is free by the way and the links is below this video click on the link download the program you have to also if I'm not mistaken download uh, the uh, coordinates and everything all the inputs into Stellarium which is very easy and uh, you'll be able to display YU55 on the program here as I'm displaying it here hope this helped you guys out thanks for watching